All right, let's, let's get straight into Shevchenko's review. Now, I think the best thing about Shevchenko is his movement off the ball. It's incredible. It's up there with Diego Forlan. It's up there with Romario and Saviola. He's obviously not as quick on the ball when he gets the ball in possession. But these are all chances that are created pretty much from, you know, similar positions against a similar match or opponent. Brilliant manual saves there as well. But eventually you're going to get a goal with him from just getting in those positions. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant movement. One of the best that I've played with. Now, as I said, he's not comparable to Romario Saviola, any of those run and gun type players. But this is his stats. We're going to show you his build in a second. His movement, if you are able to, like, let the play develop... A lot of people like to rush the play when they're chasing a goal or if they aren't on top of a game, it can be hard. But these stats that you're seeing here, 98 acceleration, it is a bit of a lie really because his balance and type possession is only at 80. This is the build, 6, 0, 9, 13 into Dex, 5 into lower body, 4 into aerial and 1 into goalkeeper 1. That's going to give you this build that you're seeing with all these clips here and on my live stream and the version that I'm using of him until we get the player reset probably next week, hopefully. But it's a fantastic card. I don't rate Shevchenko as high, right? We'll see at the end of the video my rating out of 10 that I give him. I would definitely as well here give him the additional skills. You have a couple of nice player skills already, but I definitely think one touch pass is going to be very nice. He does have soul control, so you could actually give him ball roll if you give him double touch and flip flap. That's something to think about because he's not as silky smooth on uh, the dribbling as Shevchenko or Saviola. But if you are using Shevchenko, He's not as good like as kind of, you know, Romario or Saviola. Sorry, I should have said there. If you are looking to use him, you're going to be using him in a different type of role, right? Because he just doesn't compare. The big difference between him and the likes of Romario for anyone that's looking uh, at a kind of a similar player build, right? Romario is just in a league of his own with those type of players. Running gun, Saviola, Mike alone, any of those guys that are small, short and really zippy. I would probably throw Neymar in there as well. Brilliant speed, brilliant acceleration. Shevchenko actually has higher acceleration, but the balance and the tight possession is where Romario really comes into his own, and the tight possession is probably the key for Romario's card and Saviola's card, which are the two best. Shevchenko's kind of like Rummy, and he's like Diego Forlan. That's a very good comparison there, I would say, of Diego Forlan. They're both goal poachers, they're both similar height, weight, style, motion, AI, everything. And the runs that Forlan has and Shevchenko have are really, really nice as well. So I do rate the runs. I just don't feel that he's in that upper, 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 upper tier uh, if you were doing it. Now, famously or infamously, I did actually put Shevchenko in a D in a tier list before. The community one that we did, he was placed a little bit higher. But it seems to be that Shevchenko is either a player that you love or hate in this game. Some people absolutely think he's brilliant. Some people think that he's no good at all. There doesn't seem to be an in-between. I must say I was banging goals in with him for fun by letting the play develop. And you can see all the goals that are about to be scored here. They're very simple, you know, and he can also bang it as well. It's shoot on sight. He's still more mobile than Lewandowski or Ronaldo or any of those players, but he's not as mobile as Romario or Saviola. So he's kind of a go-between that you can play if you train him right with the area of superiority or if you give him ball roll, you can kind of adapt and train him up in a little bit of a different way. So I definitely enjoy play with him. So I do give him a rating of 8 out of 10. A lot of people might be kind of putting him at a 9 out of 10, but I do reserve those 9 out of 10 and even the 10 out of 10 for probably the top five, six, seven strikers in the game. You know, I still think Romario, Saviola, them guys have more all-round aspects to their game, right? I feel like Shevchenko's really turned my head, though. His movement is probably one of the best in the game at the moment, so it is a difficult one, but 8 out of 10. So that is it for Shevchenko's review. Short and sweet, to the point. We'll be back with Hullet soon. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if not, if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in a bit.